we have a, a crimp tool, a wire stripper, my uh, Ethernet cable, Cat5, and um, I've got a bag here of uh, RJ45 cable plugs. Going to take the, uh, the stripper and um, take off about an inch and a half, a couple of inches of the sheathing to work with and um, open up the wires. The first pairs I move, orange to one side, brown to the other and uh, we've got the blue and green in the middle. Untwist them, always leading with the whites. I'm doing my oranges first and my browns first. I'm then going to open up the greens. finally the blues. My cable order is white of orange, orange, white of green, blue, white of blue, green, white of brown, brown. I'm now going to straighten these out as best I can. before squeezing them into the ribbon shape that we're going to put inside the plug. So squeezing it tightly where the sheathing ends, I'm going to gather the cables together to form the ribbon shape and twisting them with one hand and bending them up and down will form that ribbon shape. I'm only looking to form the first half inch or so of the cable. Once I've got it into the ribbon shape, I use the cutter on my crimp tool to take the wires off. never letting go of this part and I get myself a plug and push the cables home. Take my crimp tool and push the plug and the cable into the crimp tool but before I squeeze I'm going to roll the whole thing over and make sure that I can see the copper through the tip of the plug. Once I'm happy with that, I can give it a squeeze. Lift the tab very slightly, and there we have our finished end. Okay, we're going to put the other end on the cable. I've pre-cut this. Um, the maximum cable length for Cat5 is 100 meters. The minimum is half a meter. Um, this is there or thereabouts half a meter. I'm going to be scrapping this cable anyway, so um, it doesn't matter too much about that. Get my strippers. Take off an inch, inch and a half of cable and um, open up the pairs. I'm going to first expose the browns then the oranges then the greens
then the blues. The blues again, once again, go inside the greens. And the blues actually cross over. So we've got white of orange, orange, white of green, blue, white of blue, green, white of brown, brown. Gather the cables together and form your ribbon. Making sure you've got a good grip right on the edge of the sheath here and a pinch just a couple of mil beyond it. Start to twist them and bend them up and down until you form your ribbon. Once you've formed the ribbon, check again your cables. White of orange, orange. White of green, blue. White of blue, green. White of brown, brown. Take your crimp tool and cut them to about half, a, half an inch or so. Grab a cable end. RJ45 plug and push it home. We're looking to see if we can see the ends of the copper cable through the ends of the plug at this point and we're also looking to make sure that the outer sheath of the cable has gone into the plug beyond where the plug is going to crimp the outside sheath of the cable. So I'm going to put that inside my crimp tool, roll it over and have a look down the end of the plug to make sure that I can see a good reflection on the end of the copper. Give a good push in and a waggle and then once I'm happy with it, give it a squeeze. And again, just release the tab very slightly. At this point, I can take my cable and put it into my cable tester and hopefully this cable will test.